In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. St. Albert the Great, pray for us. I was reading a little bit about him. He was a scientist and, and stuff. That's so cool how God unites uh, people of faith with the sciences. I mean, it's something that in our day and age, we just kind of shirk away from because when we hear the word science we think think of all this horrible stuff they're doing in these labs that's totally against uh, morality and it's like frankenstein stuff and, and you just you know the whole cloning thing and the uh you know father michael rodriguez said they're trying to get and trying to unite animals and humans in this petri dishes and create like these transhuman things and all this and uh you know, the IVF, and we just got to, like, cry when we hear about this stuff. It's so against our Lord's uh, plan for humanity and for the world. And so when we think of science, we're like, uh-oh, you know. But it didn't used to be that way. Science is actually for the good of the people. Uh, not anymore, but, you know, it used to be, or rarely anymore, I guess I should say. I say the most medical assistance given now is for abortions isn't that sad and sick you know the most medical attention so to speak if you call it that it's not that you know but it's horrible <laughs> most funding and whatever you know i can't keep talking about it or i'll just you know i'll just be so upset <laughs> these girls to think that they don't shouldn't have their babies you know and these women often will regret the decision but I feel like they're coerced and uh, by relatives by you know the lack of charity altogether they're just uh, and maybe they don't have a strong faith to back it up you know knowing that it's really serious to sin and wrong all these things go into it so it's just a horrible situation. abortions and that's sad too because if you're a birth control then you have to go through and think well my goodness <laughs> you know did that happen to me you know because they they didn't tell you that when they signed you up you know I was put on birth control by my mom and this doctor I'd never met before. They both said it was going to, they were saying it was going to help because I had some sort of cyst on my, you know, that had to be removed. And the only way it could get go away was by taking birth control and therefore is a medical reason. And let me tell you, that is the biggest hoax. They'll tell a girl anything just to get them on these drugs, you know. Well, they also said it would clear up my acne. And it kind of did that. Which I actually <laughs> kind of had bad acne. So unfortunately, it did some things that made me feel like I needed to be on it. I mean, and obviously the death threat thing, you know, I was going to die of cancer if I didn't take it, you know. I mean, and, and the, the fact that these women being older than me in positions of power, you know. <laughs> I was fake 
married the first time around, and and I was on the pill at the time. Well, I decided after getting married, I was just going to off the pill. It's like, you know, I'm married now, I'm getting off. Well, the guy, he wasn't very happy about that. <laughs> and he, uh, he basically, it was over. Basically, the deal was over if I went off the pill. Now, I didn't know that. I didn't know that was part of the deal. Well, you know, for whatever it's worth, that relationship did not last. And that marriage was never blessed in the church, you know. But, I mean, you've got to, uh, you got to do it the right way. And, unfortunately, you know, there's probably men who do get married in the church then, then harass their wives for getting pregnant, you know. I mean, the world is so messed up right now. It's so backwards. I'm not saying don't get married outside the church. You gotta get married in the church. And if you do get married in the church, I'm sorry, but that marriage is for life. You can't get your fake annulments, you know? And my, my mother, you know, she has such hatred for my father. And what is hate? But hate is sustained anger. She has a sustained anger against my dad. Why? No, that's the deal with that. exterminate you, you know, you're just out, you know. last night or what but there were these salamanders coming out of the ground and they were like eating each other they were like uh what they call a cannibalistic um uh, cannibalistic uh salamanders and they were kind of digging into the ground it's very weird i don't really get it
high tune the top note. It's a little flat. starts getting a little exhausted, you know? 